Welcome to TCO. Today we're looking at a Kenwood KX31B cassette deck and repairing the belts inside of it. So just taking a first look at it here, it's got a good uh, eject mechanism, soft touch operation, a tape counter, it's got selection for the different types of tape, it has a Dolby noise reduction, although it doesn't say uh, what kind, a pretty cool equalizer, and a volume control. So I got this off of Amazon. I think it's from Bob's Vintage Electronics. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but it was listed as belt set for a KX31 cassette deck. All right, so as you can see, I've already taken the screws out of the side. So I'm going to go ahead and take this top section off. And underneath, you can see here on the right is a bunch of the electronics. Uh, I'm not too sure about some of that. But over here is the tape mechanism, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So just upon first look here, you can tell that these belts are just kind of falling off. Um, there's one belt over here that looks good. There's one behind it that looks like it's in good condition. But on the large wheel and the wheel on the front here, you can tell that they have fallen off including the small uh, motor wheel here. They're also gunked up on there. So what I'm going to do is first I took uh, just a paper towel. Uh, you can use basically whatever you want, but I thought a paper towel would work best just because this stuff is so um, gooey basically and sticky. Um, so I took one pass on both the wheels, uh, just trying to get that stuff off as you can see here. I'm doing it on the smaller wheel as well. Uh, toothpick worked pretty well to get inside of it and get just the initial uh, gunk out of there. But yeah, here, uh, as you can see, I've cleaned it using a paper towel and some isopropyl alcohol um, and also some Q-tips. And I also used a screwdriver to scrape the big wheel. I'm looking inside here now at the um, wheel on the motor. It was kind of difficult to clean because it's in such a closed space, but I did the best I could. So here you can see I put on this smaller belt first um, that goes on the inside of the motor wheel um, and to that front facing uh, wheel. Now the time to put on the larger belt. This is the largest belt that comes with the set. So as you can see down here there's a spot um, to take out this small little um, unscrewable piece. Um, and basically it opens up enough space um, to where you can slide the belt in. So I slid that in, tightened it here. Tightened it also down around the motor. It can be kind of tricky. Um, basically, I put it on the big wheel first, made sure it was uh, good and straight, um, and then used a screwdriver to kind of peel it um, over and around the larger part of the motor wheel. So let's test it out. Okay, so turning the power on, as soon as you turn it on, you can see the engines are spinning, and everything seems to be spinning correctly. Um, I haven't hit play yet, but hit play, and you saw the mechanism there, and it is now spinning. And so, yeah, it seems like it is working pretty well. Um, now I'm testing the uh, rewind, fast forward. So uh, I tested it once, and it seemed to be running a little slow. Um, so basically uh, what I did is I went back and re-cleaned everything, um, and I also discovered that this little knob um, adjusts um, part of the speed of how tight it's adjusted, so I fixed that. So you can see here uh, the three belts. I eventually switched out the middle size for the smallest belt uh, because it had the, the most grip strength to stay on there. And also, um, as you can see, there's a bit of a twist there in the belt, but I had it working, so I was a little reluctant to mess with it again. I also cleaned the heads just a little bit with a little bit of alcohol um, on a Q-tip. But we're going to go ahead and test it right now. I'm going to test it with a little bit of uh, Sugar Ray. That was the tape that I had closest to me at the time. So playing it just a little bit, hopefully it won't get me a, a copyright claim. So yeah, uh, pressing play. So all right, yeah, you can hear it. Um, it seems to be playing at the correct speed. This is a good way to test it. It's something that has um, just straight up uh, acoustic guitars or stringed instruments. Those are usually the best to hear if there's any drag going on. Um, but also, uh, here I'm testing the uh, Dolby for anyone who's interested. So yeah, made a little bit of a difference. Um, so yeah, those are the repairs I made on my Kenwood KX31B cassette deck. Hopefully it was helpful. For anybody who's interested, uh, this channel is called Texan Collection Odyssey. 
Um, and so it basically is a chronicle of my journey of collecting physical media. So obviously this video is part of that. Uh, I had an interest in getting a good uh, tape deck, so I got this one for only $10. Um, and I wanted to repair it myself, so I did that, uh, spending about 20 bucks on the belt repairs. And besides that, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I enjoy all aspects of uh, older media, especially these uh, old electronics. Um, so please give a like uh, or subscribe if you're interested in seeing more like this, or if you're passionate about movies and music and physical media just as much as I am. Thanks for watching.